Well, hello YouTube, it's me, Tri-State EDC, once again, with some knives from our friend Ed Durbin. He just keeps, they, they just keep coming, I swear, it's, that box is not a box, it's the bag from Mary Poppins. I'm waiting, I'm waiting to pull a lampshade out of the damn thing. It's insane. But we have three nondescript, unmarked pouches here. We're gonna see what is in these pouches from Ed. Probably something ridiculous. Hopefully. That's right, Ed, thank you once again for providing me with all of these lovely knives to make videos about. Uh, we're gonna do a three-for-one special today. They're all equally absurdly heavy, so we're just gonna start with this one. See what it is. See what's going on in... Oh. 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 Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, Ed, I don't know what this is, but it's massive. Uh, let's put that down on the ground. There's a list. Where's the list? There it is. There's a list. Don't worry. Um, 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 um. Are these Ethan? Is this an Ethan Growl? An Ethan Growl. So, now, Ed told me Ethan Growl is a company I don't really like to mess around with too much. And only because they have some very blatant clones and some blatant ripoffs. <clears throat> the issue is, they're, also, they're a really good knife manufacturer, and they have some original designs that are actually pretty damn good. So why they keep making blatant ripoffs, rip -offs, I don't know. Stop it, Ethan Growl. Get it together. Get some help. See a therapist. Stop stealing. Make your own knives. People will buy them. You don't have to make clones of everything. But anyway, I was assured that none of these are clones, and future me can back me up on that. But I don't know which one this is. The textured slabs, uh, st uh, the web anna one. We've already unboxed the web anna one. I don't know what this is, but I'm. Just, it has to be an Ethan Growl. So full size. Full titanium frame lock that is just absurd. Got the, the Phillips head freaking or the flathead massive baloney nip pivot there. Really nice textured titanium pocket clip. Very nice. Nice purple anno. Purple anno on the titanium backspacer. Jimping everywhere. Kind of rem reminiscent of like a Medford or like some kind of Strider. That's just the vibe I'm getting. I know it's not, but that's just the vibe I'm getting. Massive flipper tab with texturing on it. Absurd jimping on the blade spine. Uh, size comparison real quick, closed. Pair of three, yeah, bigger. Tactile knife coat rock wall, yeah, much bigger. Uh, big, it's very heavy as well. Huge lanyard hole on this one. Flick it open. God bless, it's so ridiculous. Really nice uh, hollow grind? Flat grind, nice tall flat grind here. Drop point style blade, absurdly thick blade stock. Just an absolute beast. Ergo's in the hand. Yeah, feels great. No issues there. Massive flipper tab, trigger pull that bad boy. Thumb on that jimping, feels great. Pinch grip. Yes. What? That's not too bad. I'm not going to give it all day. It's not an all day, but six days a week. Five or six days a week. Feels good. Locked in, well balanced. Feels nice. Lock up is solid and absurd. Action. Oh yeah, running on ceramic bearings, and really big ones. Flipper tap, a little bit of a soft detent, but on the thumb studs, feels great. Thumb flick, reverse flick? Yeah, sure. God, so much. It's so much knife! Eh. It, it needs some, you gotta want it. You gotta want it on this one. Ooh, double clutch, kicking in. Jesus, Ed. Your taste in knives never ceases, God, to amaze me. I can't reverse flick it. Ow! Oh, it's a workout. Oh, action's good. Um, if not a little too soft, the detent for that blade, but also sometimes too strong that I can't open it. So it's it's in this weird limbo world. Uh, acoustics, yeah, makes a great noise. Yeah. Absurd. Very clicky. Oh, very clacky. Uh, open size comparison, then we'll get these other two open. Pair three. Yeah, bigger. <laughs> Rock wall. Yeah. <laughs> Huge. I don't know what to tell you. It's massive. Uh, this, I, I still don't know which one this is, but maybe these other two will answer. We'll do a cut test at the end here. Open this up. Holy, holy shit. Holy cannoli, dude. They just keep getting crazier, Ed. 
The, uh, curved lines, lock face, curved lines, I would call that curved lines. So this might be the Fingral EF901. Uh, yeah. Again, full titanium build, giant frame lock. Got that kind of, uh, that, what is this called? Future me, what's this texturing called? I can't remember. Zigzag, ziggity zoo, zig zoo, zoo. Nice, uh, jimping here on the blade spine and way back here as well. Big old thumb studs, baloney knit pivots once again. Tie clip, tie backspacer in purple and gold, uh, respectively. Flip it open. Yeah, nice detent. There's that e growl logo. Yeah, if this is a clone, holy shit. I, I can't imagine what this is a clone of. But it is big and it is aggressive. Very heavy. D2 on the blade. Nice, incredible, like a Warren Cleaver style blade. Woo, scary Warren Cleaver. Super heavy. Ergos, yeah, nice ergonomic lines. Feels good. Locked in at this jimping back here. Choke up. We got that jimping right in the middle of the blade. Thumb lands there. <laughs> Feels really nice. Yeah, I'm here for it. Pinch grip. Yeah, all day on this one. That feels good. Real secure, really well balanced. Pinch grip all day. Get way out here for those draw cuts. Sure. No issues, baby. What a thing. Big old speed holes in there, too. Lock up. Again, just absurdly solid. Action. Oh, my terrifying. Really nice detent. Reverse flick. Yeah, works great. Thumb flick. Yeah, works great. Honestly, the flipper action's the best. We do have a massive flipper tab, so I would hope so. Yeah, makes a good noise, too. Ooh, I feel powerful. I feel like a man. Eh. God. Eh. Still a workout. Acoustics on this one. I think, again, the EF901. Future me. Correct me if I'm wrong. What? What a noise. It hurts my ears. Wow. God, the action's absurd. That closing action on those ceramic bearings, absolute guillotine. <laughs> okay, the EF901. And finally, is this the EF968? One more. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so this is the... Jesus, dude. The EF968. That makes this one the EF906. Okay, all right. Again, we'll do a cut test at the end. Yo, yeah. So this one is the 968. Beautiful milled texturing all over the titanium handles. Really nice knurled titanium pocket clip. Anode like a greenish color. Bluish green backspacer. Textured titanium as well. Texturing air. Giant jimping on the blade spine. Flicking hole. It says Ethan Growl in delightful little cursive there. Kind of looks like Ballpark Frank font. Future me throw up the Ballpark Frank uh, logo. Thanks. Big ridiculous flipper tab. Big ridiculous lanyard hole. Weighs about 18 pounds. Size comparison closed. Yeah. Very big. Very, very large. And in charge, in fact. Uh, let's flip her open. Oh. Oh, God. Uh, yeah, a cleaver. From hell. Uh, that is a chody knife, dude. Wow. N literally no internal milling, by the way. That's why it's so heavy. It's just absurd really tall flat grind but also very thick blade stock so you kind of need that what a thing this one's not quite as long as the other zergos yeah feels fine thumb lands on that jimping and that texturing back here locked in no hot spots feels great trigger pull it sure a little bit sketchy almost cut myself just then wouldn't be the first time not gonna be the last but that feels fine pinch grip it's a little too fat i don't know not all day once or twice a week max it's just too I can't, no, it's just too fat, too thick, too chody. Can't get my fingers around it. So not an all day, but it works. Uh, action, again, running on ceramic bearings, just like the other two. A little bit of lock stick. Oh, good action, though. You can reverse flick it, but it's, uh, oh, it's a no. It's a no, dude. I'm not going to do that often. Thumb flick? I have tiny hands, by the way. Nope, can't thumb flick it. So this one, for all intents and purposes, if you have regular size hands, if you're not a giant, is a flipper only. A little bit of lock stick, like I said, I think he notes that. Yeah, lock stick on that one. Okay, no biggie. Absolute guillotine, bro. Absolute guillotine on the close. Just, swing. Terrifying. Terrifying. My wrist hurts. Ed, I think you're trying to send me 
to a chiropractor or a sports medicine doctor because my wrist hurts after every single one of the unboxings I do for you because of all the weight. I'm not meant to do this. I'm a frail little boy. But there you go. The EF906, the EF901, and the EF968, all from Ethan Growl. I don't know if they're clones. Ethan Growl does make clones, but I was assured that these are not clones. I can't imagine what these would be clones of in the first place. Open size comparison for all three. Let's just get these knives in here. Let me zoom out. There, you like those pasty little legs? I'm sure you do. Tactile knife, uh, Rockwell. Yeah, just... These are just behemoths. I would never carry any of them. I would never EDC any of these. But I am a, a smaller man. I am a petite man. So take that for what you will. Way outside of my size range. Uh, Future Me, by the way, pricing on these, if you can find them, knowing Ed, these are no longer available anywhere. So uh, there you go. Figure it out. Thank you very much. Future Me, you're a good man. Let's cut something and we'll wrap this up. Grab the old phone book. Let's take a look. So this is the 906. Not sure of the blade steel. No idea. Future me, if you figure out the blade steel on the 906, let me know. Great. Nice tall flat grind. Even though the blade stock is a quarter mile thick, yeah, it works. Works great. Cuts like a damn dream. What about the 9... God, dude, which one is this? The no... There's... I hate the numbers and the letters. This naming scheme is a nightmare. 9... No, uh, no, uh, 901. The 901, the aggressive war war cleaver oh yeah war cleaver again nice tall flat grind absurd blade stock yes but a really nice final cutting edge oh oh god oh yeah cuts like a dream cuts like a damn dream let me throw this away and finally the 968 which is this chody little little chode here yeah a dream they all cut great no steel. This one's D2. This one's D2. I'm going to assume this one's also D2, but future me figured out. Yeah, it's great. Really tall. Definitely the tallest of the three blades, but uh, also the thickest blade stock of the three blades, it seems. Cuts great. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, if you're into two and a half pound slabs of titanium and D2, that function very well, actuate very well, and cut very well. Uh, there they are. The Ethan Growl 901, the 906, and the 968. They're absurd. Ed, I don't know what else to say. You just keep sending me the most ridiculous shit. And uh, I, my wrist hurts. My back hurts a little bit. I'm getting old. It's just too much weight for me to carry. But uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe down below. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Uh, hit me up on TikTok, on Instagram. Check out my Patreon. Become a channel member worth a shot shout out to ed durbin i'll link his instagram down below as well check him out but that is it for me thank you all oh so very much for watching and until next time bye bye now